Murdy, blank weekend, how, how does a, a goalkeeper or any footballer spend the blank weekend? Uh, running around after a three-year-old. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's obviously I've been out for a little while now and obviously coming back there's only been one game uh, and then off again. So it's, it's been it's, it's sort of, well, not awkward, but a funny situation for me. But yeah, the lads are, are chomping at the bit to get a game of football under, uh, under their belts. Um, so they are, yeah, everyone's buzzing and looking forward to this Saturday's game. Yeah, you just just awoke in game since you you came back. You're fully fit now. Yeah, yeah, fully fit. I'm in training every day now. This is what more or less the second week. Is it third week? Second week? Second week of full training, really, sort of thing. So yeah, I mean, get a few little niggles and that with it, but that's what ligament damage does. It doesn't fully go away for a while. But um, yeah, feeling all right. Starting to. Um, feel a bit sharper in that obviously going seven six seven weeks you, I don't really touch a ball with the, the, the injury it's just rehabilitation so uh, yeah back in full swing of it and uh, just getting my head down and working hard now so, so the break may have done you a few favours really um, maybe but no one likes not playing uh, and obviously um, when you don't play you're obviously you know your place has been taken by somebody else and you always run the risk of um, not being able to get back in so it's one of them scenarios that you're back fit and you just got to get your head down and work hard Unusual situation for you at Rovers, anyway, isn't it? Coming back in and being on the bench. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've had a chat with the gaffer and things like that, but um, at the end of the day, football is about people playing, and uh, and you can't argue with uh, the results over the period that I've been away. I mean, I think we only dropped up three points or something like that, and there's been a few clean sheets. So um, it's one of them scenarios in football. You know, everyone says that there's competition for places, and you you try want to try and keep your place and things like that. So um, I just get on with it. It's football. Uh, I'm old enough now to to deal with things, and I'll just get my head down, work hard. Um, and um, hopefully try and regain my place. And you're working with Kieran and with Will Puddy, I guess. Yeah, team. Kieran's up here. We give him plenty of stick from time to time. Um, but yeah, we're just out there every day working, working hard. Um, it's um, people always, always want to hear something extraordinary about goalkeepers, you know, because there's only one position and you're all working together. And you hear, t I've heard stories in my career of people not getting on and not talking to each other. But it's a, it's a, it's a funny click goalkeepers in a way because um, only one of you can play but there's usually two or three of you training and um, but you get on with it it's we all know what the situations are like we've all been in the situations where we've played we've all been in the situations where we haven't played um, and, and being goalkeepers we all know how hard the position is and like what outfield players think it's like um, well <laughs> apart from Macca ask Macca he'll tell you how hard it is but um, and you just get on with it and, and you know that um, if you're not playing you've got to work hard and do what you can to try and get back in but by, also you have to support the, the other goalkeeper um, and and, uh, and it's the same way round. I mean, up, up until before my injury, Puds, Puds was brilliant with me. He supported me all year, chatting, talking, trying to improve my game. I try to improve his. So it, it changes nothing, really. Um, obviously, you always want to play. Um, it's been a, a game now since I'm back and I've not played. And I'm chomping at the bit to get back in, especially with only 15 games to go. And we're in a you know a strong position. Um, but... That's something that I can't worry about. I just need to concentrate on training, um, getting back to um, you know being really sharp, and then uh, just keep pushing and pushing and, and give the gaffer some hard choices. Talk about those first of those fifteen games on Saturday, Dartford away. Um, every game is tough, I guess, at this level, isn't it? even though. They might be down near the bottom. He's struggling for points. It's going to be a tough time. Yeah, I mean, we played the murder in the season, and mm -hmm. and uh, we, I think we, you know, we managed to win one nil. But it was, it was a strange game because for a lot of it we were on top, but we couldn't sort of. Um, break them down and, and kill the game off but every game's going to be difficult in this division it doesn't matter at top or bottom I mean it's a cliche that everyone says in every division but it isn't it's not as as, as cut and dry um, results at the weekend in the FA Cup show how cut and dry football's not um, so we need to go down there with the same professionalism the same approach that's been uh, happening for all of the season um, and trust that um, the work that we've done on the training pitch, uh, the application that needs to be uh, put into the game is there uh, and will prevail. You've got a squad that has a, a lot of belief in itself and you've got two new additions. How have they fitted into that uh, group? Jermaine's been terrible. Can't believe we've signed him now. It, listen, the lads have been brilliant. Um, it's great to have that uh, extra bit of experience with Jermaine here as well now. You know, he's... Um, 
he probably won't like me to say he's been around the block a bit, but you know he's got plenty of experience, like a few other, a few others of us. And and Adam's come in, and he's obviously a young boy looking forward to playing football. And he's chomping at the bit, wanting to show people what he can do. So um, it's it's good. It's nice to have those two new fresh faces in there. It kind of um, not rejuvenates the the group because we didn't really need it, but it's nice to get a couple of fresh people in, a couple of fresh faces, and. Um, and you know everybody's been impressed with them so far, and uh, and hopefully um, having them for us, well, Jermaine for a few years now, hopefully, and Adam for um, for as long as we can keep him. Um, hopefully, they you know they bring something um, added to the team. What was your take on on the final fifteen games? I know you don't like to look too far ahead, but it's going to be a quite a good run in, isn't it? Yeah, it team. is. I mean, again. <laughs> I'd never try to look too far ahead. You can't in football. If you start looking too far ahead, you trip yourselves up. It, again, it's an old cliche. You got to take each game as it comes, but it, it really is. Um, you know, a lot said of, of of Barnet and their games, but we can't affect anything they do. We don't play them at all for the rest of the season now. So, um, as much as I know, everyone will look up for their fixtures on a Saturday and, and see what they're doing. We 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 got to ignore that. We've got to take care of our own business, take care of our own games. If we win the majority of our games and take the, the majority of points that we can out of the remaining 15 games, um, that's all that we can ask to do is concentrate on what we can do and try and get the maximum amount of points that we can. Uh, and then if we do that um, with a little bit of lady luck along the way, hopefully we won't be too far away.